succession to have when as the party progressed I, re I witnessed the power that it had it just changed the entire mood of everything and I really enjoyed possessing that power and that's just you know I don't know if that's narcissism or what but I really enjoyed that um, because I have such a strong relationship with music and the fact that the the caveat is the music the hope behind the power that just I don't know, it just changed my, my life. Um, and I just progressed and pursued the culture of being a DJ, collecting music, um, studying other DJs, being a dancer first, that actually helped. Um, I studied ballet till I was 12 and I always uh, loved music, of course. My mother's a classically trained pianist. And dancing is the embodiment of this vibration that comes from the creator, which I think is music. Um, and so, um, watching dancers possessing the power to control and to invoke spirit um, is what helped me, actually. Mm. The stomp of one nameless destination. Sometimes I forget that I'm a woman. I just feel not, and I, that's not me beginning a conversation of like trans identity or anything like that. But I'm just a vessel. I'm a spirit in this body. And the way the world sees me reminds me that I'm a woman. And first, you know, before all my other feelings and I love being a woman, that kind of thing. Um, so being a DJ or holding any kind of power over anything is something that usually a man is supposed to hold. So being a female and holding this power, what does it mean to me? Um, it's a large responsibility. It's a little, it taps into my mother instincts, I would say. Um, because the spirit that comes out of music and the way it invokes people and their bodies to move that can, that can lead to a lot of things. That can lead to a lot of possession. That can lead to um, really pulling out emotions from people and to have power over that or to have control more so than power. You know, to have control because people are submissive to you because you're playing the music, you know. Um, Um, can you can you talk about what you know um, your experiences behind the turntables where you engage with dance and and also man, being a manipulator of the music? Oh, um, and what that is for you? What is that? Because that is this, distinctly a re thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have this thing where I say I have this saying: if the DJ ain't dancing, leave the party. Because um, and a good friend of mine actually told me because I never could articulate why I do that. She told me. You give us permission to be free when we're watching you get free. You give us permission. And I was like, wow, that's, a, that's where I get this whole idea. This is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. This is a responsibility. And my relationship to music is what happens to me or for me when I'm behind the turntables. 
because I'm having my own party in my headphones, honey. And with my monitors and my headphones, I'm at my own party and I'm playing. I don't. I wouldn't say that I'm playing for myself, but I'm playing music that I personally know invokes the spirit within that gets you free, you know? And so my dancing is just my reaction, my response to that, you know? And yeah, I do dance when I do that. I do. I love it. 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 Um, and I'm so glad that I give people permission, you know? I think that's beautiful.